Hi, everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today, I am going to share about how to plot xbar R chart using Minitab. Before watching, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Statistical Process Control SPC, is a powerful collection of problem-solving tools useful in achieving process stability and improving capability through the reduction of variability. What is the objective of the control chart? Control chart helps keep the process in control and reduces defect and defective. Besides, control charts help prevent overreact and unneeded adjustment which can result in deterioration of process performance. A typical control chart is shown below. The control chart is a graphical display of a quality characteristic that has been measured or computed from a sample versus the sample number or time. The chart contains a center line that represents the average value of the quality characteristic corresponding to the in-control state. Two other horizontal lines, called the upper control limit UCL and the lower control limit LCL are also shown on the chart. These control limits are chosen so that if the process is in control, nearly all of the sample points will fall between them. As long as the points plot within the control limits, the process is assumed to be in control and no action is necessary. However, a point that plots outside of the control limits is interpreted as evidence that the process is out of control, and investigation and corrective action are required to find and eliminate the assignable cause or causes responsible for this behavior. What is variation? No two products or characteristics are exactly alike, because any process contains many sources of variability. The differences among products may be large, or they may be immeasurably small, but they are always present. Variation is the differences among individual results or output of a machine or process. There are two types of variation, which are common cause and special cause variation. Common causes refer to the many sources of variation within a process that has a stable and repeatable distribution over time. This is called in a state of statistical control, in statistical control, or sometimes just, in control. Common causes behave like a stable system of chance causes. If only common causes of variation are present and do not change, the output of a process is predictable. Special causes, often called assignable causes, refer to any factors causing variation that are not always acting on the process. That is, when they occur, they make the overall process distribution change. Unless all the special causes of variation are identified and acted upon, they will continue to affect the process output in unpredictable ways. If special causes of variation are present, the process output is not stable over time. Rational subgrouping A rational subgroup is a small sample of items that are produced in a short period of time under the same conditions, such as operator, equipment, or supplier. The subgroups should be chosen so that opportunities for variation among the units within a subgroup are small. If the variation within a subgroup represents the piece-to-piece -piece variability over a very short period of time, then any unusual variation between subgroups would reflect changes in the process that should be investigated for appropriate action. What is the X-bar R chart? Use X-bar R chart to monitor the mean and variation of a process when you have continuous data and subgroup sizes of 8 or less. Use this control chart to monitor process stability over time so that you can identify and correct instabilities in a process. Let's take a look at an example using Minitab. The moisture content of 25 subgroups is measured every 3 hour. Set up X-bar R control chart to evaluate the stability of the process. Choose Stat, Control Charts, Variables Charts for Subgroups, X-bar R. From the drop-down list, select observations for a subgroup or in one row of columns and enter 1 to 5. Click X bar R options. On the Tests tab, select Perform all tests for special causes. Click OK in each dialog box. In summary, the X bar R chart shows out of control. The process failed test 7 and 4. 
Test 7 represents 15 points within one standard deviation of center line. Above and below CL. Test failed at points of 20, 21, 22, 23. Test 4 represents 14 points in a row alternating up and down. Test failed at points of 19 and 20. What if a process is not in a state of control? Prediction of the future will be of minimal practical value as we do not know when and how special cause variation will affect the process. Improving the process will be difficult, as special cause variation will still affect process outcomes. Capability indices are meaningless if the process is not in a state of control. We have assumed that the sample data used for estimating M and S was obtained from an in-control process. Suppose, though, that one of the points on the resulting control chart falls outside the control limits. Then if an assignable cause for this out-of-control situation can be found and verified, it is recommended that new control limits be calculated after deleting the corresponding sample from the data set. Similarly, if more than one point falls outside the original limits, new limits should be determined after eliminating any such point for which an assignable cause can be identified and dealt with. It may even happen that one or more points fall outside the new limits, in which case the deletion recomputation process must be repeated. Recomputing control limits when one of the points on the control chart falls outside the control limits, the control limits should be recalculated after excluding all subgroups affected by the special causes for which process causes have been clearly identified. The exclusion of subgroups representing unstable conditions is not just throwing away bad data. Rather, by excluding the points affected by known special causes, we have a better estimate of the background level of variation due to common causes. This, in turn, gives the most appropriate basis for the control limits used to detect future occurrences of special causes of variation. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you next time.